In this video, I'll show you how to replace and program the battery in your E70 BMW X5. So where even is the battery in this thing? Like most BMWs, it's located in the trunk. You'll remove five Phillips head screws in this plastic storage tray before lifting it out to reveal the battery compartment. Before you get started, take a look around at the battery compartment to get familiar with the components. Take some photos on your phone that you can use later as a reference guide when it comes time to putting everything back together. First we'll disconnect the negative terminal with the 10 millimeter, and then we'll remove this battery hold down right here, also a 10. We come around to the back here. There's another 10 millimeter with another battery tie down. part of the bracket is loose, it's bolted down one more spot right here with one more 10 millimeter. Okay, next step we have two trap doors here. Let's lift up on this tab to remove the positive terminal. And that is 10 millimeter. And then this one right here, pry up on that. And that is a 13. Then we just unclip this, uh, this piece here. There's a clip over here and a release for the clip on that side and this whole thing is going to come off, swing it out of the way so we can replace the battery. All right, now with the flathead screwdriver, I'm going to reach in to this little slot right in here and release this clip. There we go. And here is a close up of that tab on the back side here. Once again, what I was doing with the flathead blade was just prying in this direction out. Swing this whole thing out of the way. We already loosened the 10 millimeter here for the positive terminal. Take this off. Looks like we have something else, this little guy, plugged in. You can unplug that if you need to, or just see if you can get away with leaving it, like that. Here's our two handles. Rotate those up so we can lift it 
out of the car. Then finally, before we lift this out of the car, we have to disconnect this ventilation tube down here on the side. Give that a little wiggle, rotate it out. Here's the new battery, here's the old battery, and to date this, if you have a factory BMW battery, it's pretty easy. Look for the minus sign, that means this is the negative terminal. Plus obviously means the positive or the hot side. We're going to be looking for the negative side, and if you look up closely here, you'll see a 3.0 and a 1.5. That means this battery was manufactured the 30th week of 2015. So this battery is currently seven years old. Definitely at the end of its life. Uh, really shouldn't let a battery be used in the car at seven years old. Usually it's closer to five or six. Over here is the new battery. It looks like BMW may have done away with uh, dating the batteries in this method. Uh, there's nothing stamped on the negative terminal but they do now have a sticker, which is what most aftermarket batteries have, 222, which means February of 2022. Here's the new battery slid into place. First thing I'll do is connect our ventilation tube right here. There's a small hole you can feel. There, we'll just wiggle that into place. Now we can slide the battery in up against the metal stop that's located right there. So the battery can only slide so far over. And that's it. forget to take off this protective safety cap. Make sure this terminal is oriented the right way because if you remember this piece here has to go back on top uh, which bolts to the stud right there. This is a 10 millimeter. Torque that down. This whole piece will clip down to the battery. Here's our 13 millimeter. Close the little safety door. We'll just lift up on the edges here and make sure this is snapped into place and it feels like it is secure. Next step, let's get the negative terminal back on. Once again, that's a 10 millimeter. And our last step here is to put our battery hold downs or tie downs back in place. There's one there and we had this bracket for the middle here as well. On each bracket, there's three little ridges that correspond with uh, like a, a mold in the battery. So you can't really mess this up. It only goes one way. And um, you can always take pictures with your phone before you start a job like this. You know, take 10, 15 photos of different angles before you start. That way you know, or you have something to reference uh, with how to put it back together in case you get stuck.
And before we tighten this one down, let's put that big bracket on to make sure that everything is in alignment before we snug everything up. Okay, let's try starting the car and see if it gives me any crazy check engine lights or warning signals when I start it up. Haven't yet registered um, the battery, so let's see what we get. All right, so when you first start the car up, you're gonna see all kinds of warning codes here, such as the four-wheel drive, uh, dynamic stability control, DSC, all-wheel drive. Looks like, obviously the parking brake is on, my seatbelt is off, but the four by four light looks like that's the main one. So do not do not be alarmed, that's totally normal it seems, until we use our trusty cheap Foxwell scan tool here. These can be had online for something like $100, maybe $125, maybe they're $150, I can't quite recall, but I will put a link for this in the description in the comment section below if you need to pick up a cheap scan tool to program and register the battery in your car. Now I just want to make a note that from what I've read online it appears that these inexpensive scan tools will allow you to merely register the battery which I believe that's what I need to do here because I replaced it with a like for like, exactly exactly the same identical BMW battery with the same amperage, 92 amp hours, and uh, same capacity, etc. If you are putting in a different battery, such as going from AGM, which is what these cars came with, I replaced this with an AGM. If you're trying to go to lead acid or um, lead acid to AGM or vice versa. From what I've read online, the scan tool is not sophisticated enough to let you do to do that. So you're going to need um, INPA, INPA, or ISTA, I-S-T-A, which is the factory BMW software, uh, in order to put in more parameters when you're putting in an aftermarket battery or changing from a different type of battery. Long story short, um, since I am just replacing an exact BMW battery, this is one of the reasons why I bought the more expensive BMW battery. Not only that, but it's my wife's car and I'm sort of OCD like that. I like to have, you know, German stuff or BMW stuff. In this case, the battery is made in the US. And I wanted to make sure that I would be able to register the battery to this car for tomorrow morning because my wife has to get to work. And if you're doing this and watching this video for some assistance, you might be in the same situation. So let's plug this in, get started, and hopefully it works. Okay, here's our tool. This is the NT510. You can also use a 520 or 530. I'm in the special functions uh, menu, and I'm going to go down to the battery. So we'll just scroll over to battery. Sorry for this poor video quality at the moment. Here we go, register battery exchange, enter. Okay, what do you wish to do? Uh, what did we do here? Uh, I pre Just a side note, I did previously plug this in and I selected option one. 
display battery exchange history. And that didn't show me the last time the battery was replaced, unfortunately. Um, but thankfully I was able to find out about that negative terminal trick. Just look on the negative terminal on a BMW factory battery that will show you your date code. Okay, so I'm going to register the battery exchange, number two. Let's hit F2, or we'll just scroll over to it. Father, enter. Okay, it's currently registered 90 amp hours, 90 AH, AGM. Uh, I'm not sure why it says that because the BMW battery is actually 92 amp hours and the replacement is also 92, but I suppose that's close enough. Okay, so what we're gonna do, enter it in the front, produce engine off, terminal 15 on, I guess that means the ignition, and one, enter battery exchange, same capacity, two, uh, this would be a higher or lower capacity, so I'm just gonna do number one here. And we're gonna have to input uh, some information here. Keyboard is F2, let's see, enter current date. Oh, basically we're just gonna put in today's date. 20, 22. Okay, complete. Is the new battery, and uh, newly installed battery in original BMW part? Yes. Oh, doesn't that feel good to say? Is there, a mat is there a data matrix code on the label? All right, here's my iPhone. I happened to take a picture of the uh, QR code and I guess that's the data matrix code. Right here is the serial number. Not sure if that's gonna come in or not on camera, but that 12 digit number. And basically what I'm doing is just entering it in here with the keyboard to register the battery. Okay, the matrix code is entered in again. Let's try it again. Hit F3. Please work. Yes, the battery exchange was successfully entered in the engine electronics and the standby current histogram was reset successfully. Fantastic, yes, F3. Finished. Okay, and it looks like we're good to go. Let's start up the car and see if this uh, 4x4 warning and all that goes away, please. Okay, everyone, this is the end of the video. I just wanted to let you know that as soon as I put the car in drive and the wheels rolled forward a few inches, the DSC and 4x4 lights turned off on their own. To be sure, I went back in with the scan tool and erased the store codes. These two warning lights commonly display or come on in an E70 X5 when the battery is disconnected for any reason, basically because the computers have lost power temporarily. If this video was helpful for you, please help me continue to make videos like this by subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you'll be first to know when I upload a new video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see all of you next time.